a touch. Good. We are doing our first um, photo shoot for Guys and Dolls. Doing our uh, photo shoot for our poster, I think, for our marketing materials. They'll be sending them, they'll be stuffing people's mailbox with them, you know. Um, I'll be standing on the corner of 42nd and 8th, throwing them at people and wadding them up and hitting cabs with them. We got to get all dulled up for the first time. It's thrilling. I feel like I'm from another world. I mean, it's just so much fun. It's, it's just a timeless story. It applies to all ages. Um, and uh, yet all that's really required is, is uh, having the, 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 the wonderful actors to play these, these timeless parts. I'm playing Adelaide, who uh, is a dancer who works at a place called The Hot Box. And um, she very much would like for her boyfriend to marry, a boyfriend of 14 years to marry her. I'm playing Nathan Detroit, who is a, um, you know, he's a, uh, Nathan's a promoter. And he's trying to balance his interests to you. He has this love of, of love of, of, of creating a good time for his buddies, but he also has a love of, loves this beautiful woman who maybe get a little bit sick of his lifestyle. So he's in a position where he has to make a choice. I play Sarah Brown, the mission doll, who's out to convert sinners. And she falls for one of the biggest. <laughs> Sky Masterson is a uh, inveterate gambler, and uh, um, he falls for this mission doll named Sarah, who's played by the lovely Kate Jennings Grant. She's great. I really feel blessed with these uh, these four. And there are, you know, we have also Mary Testa, and you know, we have uh, uh, Titus Burgess, and uh, Steve Rosen, and a whole uh, potpourri of, of fantastic actors in the company surrounding them. I couldn't be luckier. I couldn't be luckier. I've, I've always loved Lauren's work, and I think she's just an, uh, a natural Adelaide and we're having a lot of fun together already. I love Oliver. I, I hadn't known him before, but I've always really loved his work as an actor. And um, and he's very tall. You know, we are the tallest cast in the universe. And um, possibly ever, ever, ever seen in any theatrical production. Go ahead, you know, Wikipedia it. We just started and we had two days of Guys and Dolls uh, dramaturgy. So we got to learn every Thing you could possibly ever want to know about guys and dolls. Getting a lot of details about about the time and every single reference we make and and um, you know just kind of what was what was going on and and we've just started singing and dancing. Oh dear God, the dancing. Um, so we're just really at the beginning. Guys and dolls is a part of every, you know anybody. I I mean I think even if you're not didn't grow up being an actor, guys and dolls is probably a part of the. You know, it's a part of the fabric of our, of our popular culture, you know? It's about two couples, and those two couples reflect all of us in some way. And so I think it's impossible to, to follow the story without relating to it in a personal way. I think the fact that it's set in the 30s makes it really kind of unique and original and has a, uh, a, new, a, new, a new edge to it, I think, in a way. And yet it's still romantic and fun and funny, so... And we just saw the set for the first time too, and it's absolutely thrilling. I can't wait to get up there. <laughs> it's such a satisfying day of work. It's like a really incredibly um, great experience so far. And uh, so everything's been, you know, I went to a dance rehearsal and they had this pianist and a drummer playing live for me. It just, you know, I mean, it's not for me, it's they do it, you know, for everybody. And it just, the talent of everyone is, overwhelming. It's been said that it's one of those musicals where the where the where the book is as good as the music, which is which is very rare. Uh, and uh, the music of course is fantastic. Uh, and and I, I think every there's not a clunker in the bunch. So the amazing thing about Guys and Dolls, you could do it as a play without the music and you could do it as a review without the book because both are so extraordinary. So you put them together and you have I think that's why uh, people often refer to it as one of the greatest you know, American musicals.